And so the trial of the legendary A-Team is finally over, ending perhaps the final chapter of a bygone era, the Vietnam legacy of Presidents Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon. Colonel John Smith, Lieutenant Templeton Peck, and Sergeant B.A. Baracus found guilty on all counts. All that remains is for their execution to be administered. <laughs> I've been to the hospital three times looking for you. Where you been? Well, I figured, uh, I figured that there was somebody else looking for me besides you. Hey, you ain't talking about substance. You know, that guy Stockwell's people been calling here and asking for you. I gotta help my guys. And I figure I only got about 12 hours, I, and I'm not gonna be able to do it alone. Let me guess who you got in mind. You could say no. But you won't like it. No, but I'd understand. Hey, you and me, we're invincible. Together? We can handle anything, all right? Come on. That's the lodge arriving now. Had to pick someone else up. This must be visitor's day, Captain. Carlos Cellini, we've been to the last rights and offer absolution. What are you going to have for your last meal? What? Your last meal. See, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to have, and I thought... Man, you crazy. You starting to sound just like Murdoch. I ain't having no last meal. Well, you have to have a last meal. I mean, it's tradition. See, I'm, I'm wondering if maybe I should have something I really love, or uh, maybe it'd be better to have something I've never tried before. You can have whatever you want, and mine, too. I ain't having no last meal. Well, then you realize, of course, that the uh, last meal you had will end up being your last meal. See? He's got a point there, B.A. Instead of agreeing with him, Hannibal, you're supposed to be coming up with a plan that don't include us to have a last meal. I'm working on it. Good. But uh, you might give some thought to, to an appetizer. Might I suggest the Dover sole with lemon butter and capers? Marie Antoinette swore by it. I don't believe it. You are forgiven. We haven't got much time. Put your hands away from your body and don't move. Then how do I get my hands away from my body? Seven days a week, 365 no, days a year. No, I don't profess to be a psychiatrist. And if you don't get through, that just means that you won't get the opportunity I'll send them right away. to try without any obligation whatsoever to anybody else. Our new part of all Let's go, Mr. Murdoch. You're going back to the VA hospital. How did you know that Father Stellini was no longer inhabiting this itty-bitty body? Because luckily the cleaning lady forgot her glasses and returned to the rectory to find Father Stellini in the bathroom where you locked him with a neat little bump on his noggin. I believe it was right here. See? It was right here. <sighs> I believe it. The launch has arrived, sir, with Father Stellini. Fine. That shouldn't take more than an hour. Murdoch can go back in the same boat. <clears throat> I understand you are a troubled man. I forgive you. Yes, it's all right, my son. Sergeant. Take Father Stellini to the prisoners. Bless you. Bless stay you. With stay with him. Bless you. Bless you. Captain Underwood told me to stay with you. These men are very sharp. Obviously not that sharp. Or you and I wouldn't have jobs this morning. Just a little black humor. <laughs> what happened to Murdoch? He's back there shuffling the half deck for those guys. 
He figured to be on the lookout for some kind of move, so he threw Murdoch at him so he wouldn't pay attention to me. Murdoch figured no one looks for the old double Framis. It's a movie blood packet. Now, I can't mess with protection under this, so when it goes off, it may burn a little. So bite your tongue after you swallow this. But don't do that until just before they fire. Hasta luego. Bienvenidos. Cógelo con take it easy. Good morning, Padre. How you doing? As well as one can under the circumstances. Are these the instruments to be used? Yeah, they have to be loaded. The men don't load their own weapons? Not for an execution. You see, not all the rounds are live, so no one actually knows who does or does not fire the killing shots. How humane. Sergeant, do you have an extra smoke? Oh, sure, Padre. All I have is these cancer sticks without filters. But I figure you got to go for it, and why not go with gusto? Ain't it the truth? Damn. Oh, sorry. I mean, um, I, Oh, uh, that's all right. We're all a little nervous this morning. I have more matches. I'll be right back. Gil should have some. Father Cellini? Yes, sir. He's in here with me. Well, let's get in gear, Sergeant. We're not running a tour service. We're executing the prisoners this morning. Yes, sir. I was looking for some matches for the father. Father, your light. Oh, yes, of course. Right. Time to be going, Father. I don't wish to run behind. I'm sure the prisoners wouldn't mind if you did. Bless you. Respiration and heartbeat are stabilized. They're actually starting to come too. Uh, oh, just like I dreamed it would be. Welcome, Lieutenant. Oh, no. They sent me downstairs, didn't they? Don't be alarmed about your disorientation. It's just the side effects from the uh, drug that you swallowed and having your respiratory system depressed. Ah. Good, kid. So are you. Didn't gain any weight, huh? Uh-uh. Shall we, gentlemen?